The following is a special feature of Conifer Radio, our continuing series of Conifer Podcast. This week, we feature several area residents, nonprofits, and business owners in a special roundtable. We celebrate the season of leaf keeping and our Gold Rush campaign for the U.S. Highway 285 corridor with the where to go and the what to enjoy with a view of our autumn colors. Here now are the special guests of our 285 Tourism Committee Roundtable. Good evening, Conifer Bailey Pine and our U.S. 285 Corridor listeners to this week's featurette of Conifer Podcast. On behalf of my co-moderator, Mr. Bill Bruner, our 285 Tourism Chair, founder of the Bailey Theater Company and owner of Heart and Soul Excursions, this week we are privileged to present an informative Gold Rush Leaf Peeping Roundtable discussion with some of our special local residents, business owners, and nonprofit representatives of our mountain communities. And we have several individuals with us here live in mobile studio today. Let's have everyone introduce themselves. And Mr. Bruner, would you lead us off, please? Yeah, I'm Bill Bruner, uh, co-chair of the 285 Tourism Committee. As Mark said, the managing director and president of the Bailey Theater Company. My own business is Heart and Soul Excursions uh, Travel Company. Very interested in the corridor and very interested in trying to promote what we can to get people to come by and stop. Hi, everyone. I'm Sharon Troke. I own MyMountainTown.com, your online community resource for finding out what's happening in the corridor, along with traffic and weather and all those things that you need to know if you're coming up to the mountains. Hi, this is Tim Gregg. I'm uh, Director of Area Development for the Platte Canyon Chamber of Commerce. I also own a new and thriving business, The Smiling Pig, located in downtown Bailey. Hi, I'm President of the Cultural Council of Park County and a member of River Canyon Gallery. And Miss Ann. Yes, I'm a member of the River Canyon Gallery at 57 Main Street in Bailey, and we offer a wide selection of fine art and fine craft right here in our our town. And we have Vivian with us of Chimney Doctors. Hi, Vivian. Hi, I'm Vivian Rosso. I am um, on the board of the Conifer Chamber of Commerce and an active participant in the Platte Canyon Area Chamber of Commerce and a consumer of everything on the corridor. We have the best places to eat and shop. And lastly, but not here, least, here. <laughs> Mr. Matt. Thank you, Mark. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Matt Dombrowski. I am the owner of Chimney Doctors of Colorado, located here in Bailey, Colorado. I am also your president for the Platte Canyon Area Chamber of Commerce. And uh, just want to say thank you for everybody who's listening tonight. Bill, why don't you lead us off into the questioning here just to get the discussion going. So let's talk about our mountain community corridor. Bill? Uh, we consider uh, any place from Morrison to Grant part of the 285 corridor, and there are so many things to see and do in this area that people don't realize because all they do is drive through the corridor. So we invite you to stop at some of the local uh, restaurants, merchants, and funky little stores that we have here and there. Uh, to enjoy the corridor on your way up or down as you enjoy the colors this fall on Kenosha Pass. Many of you have much more experience traveling this corridor than yours truly here. So, Tim, Matt, Sharon? Well, I can tell you that one of my favorite things to do is to get up early and get out there to try and beat the traffic because there's going to be quite a bit of it, especially the coming two weekends when we have people peak leaf peeping. It's wonderful to stop and have just a relaxing meal like along Platte River and to go shopping in our wonderful little gift shops that we have because there's some amazing things that you can find and some great food and wine that you can have. And speaking of some of the amazing gift shops that we have, Anne, why don't you give a little tour Uh, of uh, River Canyon? Well, I think that people would be very surprised at the quality of work that we have exhibited at the gallery. We have everything from painting to photography, uh, sculpture, ceramics, pottery, every every, uh, media that you could possibly imagine for art and craft. Uh, We also have weaving, crochet work, beaded work, I think that most people would be really quite astounded by what they'll see at River Canyon Gallery. 
And you've also got some interesting neighbors around you, Anne. Maybe talk about some of the surrounding uh, attractions, if you will, the restaurants and the other places. Yeah, well, uh, starting at one end of Main Street, we have the uh, Cutthroat Cafe, which I believe is open for uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, then moving moving uh, south uh, down Main Street, we have the Sasquatch Outpost, which is a really fun family place to go. We have various uh, uh, stores, uh, DeBee's Honey. I, I'm not exactly sure all their hours there, but they, they are also a fun place to visit for some unique gifts. Especially if you're part bear. Bear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they have great honey. So you guys are all familiar with Mad Jack's story of the bear, don't you? Ab- oh, yes, absolutely. How it got its name. Tell us um, about some see. of the other areas. Well, let's see. One of my favorites is the winery. Marcel and Julie put on a nice spread, and they have some most delightful wines. I always get the pomegranate. And, and it's a pleasant thing to sit down, you know, and be waited on and look at the river. And it, it's just the most pleasant experiences. We also have River Bend Italian Eatery down the road from us. And I mean, Michael's from New York. He knows how to make a pizza. Mm-hmm. And the winery also has fantastic music. Yes, they do. Featuring local artists. The Rock and Rapids at Aspen Peak Cellars is not to be missed. Yeah. And that, uh, that's every Saturday and Sunday from 2 until 5. And there's also great music at uh, Mad Jack's Mountain Brewery every Saturday and Sunday also. The times vary a little bit there. Apparently very dog friendly because I always see... <laughs> Families with dogs and kids going down there to listen to the music. I was going to say that the Cutthroat Cafe I've seen on a, on a couple of occasions, or at least my wife has, had some outdoor music too. I'm not sure most recently, but it's amazing when you walk along Main Street what you find. I actually think walking down Main Street is a, is a great way to spend part of a day because the diversity of things that are available and the wonderful warmth of the people of Bailey are just uh, something great to take in. Vivian, you were going to say something. Yeah, I also wanted to talk about uh, Conifer. You know, I just love music, so I'm going to find it wherever it is. Brooks Place Tavern, they're um, starting to have music outside on Saturday afternoons. And with the leaves changing... And the weather change, and they may not be having the outdoor music too much longer. They're a fun place to go. And the well in Conifer also has music outdoors and indoors. So they'll be moving indoors when the weather gets too cold. But outdoors there is so much fun. They have outdoor venue with the bands and they serve drinks and food. It's all real tasty and just lots of fun. Great place to stop. Some great shops also. They're situated in separate shopping centers, but there's some great diversity of shops there from uh, organic food to tea, arts and crafts, and even a zip lining place. I, I would also like to mention the Bean and Leaf. Uh, which is one of my favorite places to go for exotic teas and coffee and unique gifts. So I would like to recommend that to people. That's uh, in Conifer. Yeah, and right they below also there. have a great pinball place in Conifer. Man, is that a blast. Brings you back to being a teenager. You go up there. <laughs> That's great. My kids have had a lot of fun there. And all in that same shopping center. They love going to Luna's Mandala. And one of the best new little restaurants that just reopened was Taspin's Cafe. Yeah, I haven't gotten there yet, but I loved it before. So it's probably a million times better now. The pictures look mouthwatering of their food. How about the new sushi place over there? That's pretty good. They have a lot more than sushi, too. They have like very extensive menu. And my son has tried that and said it's fantastic. Yeah. And then uh, the new owners at the... diner there that's doing pretty well have shorter hours and people would be waiting for them to open or bummed when they were closed but they've extended their hours so that's really good and folks vivian i think you're talking about the conifer cafe that's located in the uh, same approximate yeah. area as the pinball it's by oh, wendy you guys are all making me hungry here 
<laughs> uh, about all these wonderful restaurants and everything. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty exciting to hear. Uh, you know, Bill mentioned that we, um, we cover all the way from Morrison all the way up to Grant and really beyond all the way to Kenosha Pass. But, we're, you know, a lot of our businesses, that's about where they stop. And one to, to, to mention that's one of my favorite restaurants there in Grant is the Shaggy Sheep. Uh, the shaggy that's sheep. so that's good incredible food just incredible food love the shaggy sheep and tim should know because he just opened a new food truck next to chimney doctors on main street in bailey uh called the polite pig no smiling pig smiling, smiling pig, pig. Oh. <laughs> well, sounds a little better in a way but uh <laughs> Tim's blue eye and the pig is smiling. <laughs> I think the customers end up smiling because it's so good and they feel like a pig because the sandwiches are so delicious. <laughs> well, I'd like to give a shout out because Denise and I were there Saturday night sitting next to Mr. Mayor Matt and Tim. You did an outstanding job because you got a vote of confidence from my wife, Denise. Yeah, well, we're doing a Texas style barbecue there and uh, we appreciate all the business. We've only been open three weekends. So unfortunately, we are only open on the weekend. But for the folks traveling up to uh, visit and, uh, us and see the leaves, uh, uh, that fits in well. Stop by for some Texas style, uh, Texas style barbecue. And folks, let's talk about well, maybe some things about the area that people can see. What is the venue of choice when people come up for leaf peeping? The Colorado oh, Trail. Yeah, Kenosha Pass for sure. And yeah. Guanella Pass. Kenosha, Guanella. Yeah. Kenosha Pass and Guanella Pass, yes. That's where the leaf lookers go, and the hikers are all on the Colorado Trail. Yep. And they've been ending up in Bailey. I've had five of them come into the gallery lately, so... It seems to be it's where they stay for the night and they stop to get supplies and they go to Platte River Outfitters and they go check them out. And they've been very courteous having hikers leave their backpacks there while they walk around Main Street. That's really nice that uh, Platte River Outfitters will hold your backpacks while you go around town. Oh, yeah. This That's young couple deal. from Israel were hiking around and they just loved Bailey. They said, we are the friendliest people that they've met in the United States so far, <laughs> which was good. From a lot of our talk here, uh, you would think all we do here is eat, uh, but there are some <laughs> great places, there's some great things to do. Uh, you know, there are places to stay up here, like uh, the Glen Isle Resort, for instance, historic Glen Isle. People can come, you can stay for the weekend. Uh, they have camping, they have cabins, all kinds of things like that. There are and other a lot of the hikers go to uh, Linwood Park. Yes, which is a yes. wonderful place for them to stay. Yes, so there are a lot of places to stay, and you know the river itself is just incredible. Uh, you can go fly fishing, uh, regular fishing, kayaking, all kinds of stuff. The river really offers a lot of things. So beyond just looking at the leaves, there are a lot of activities up here. And during the summer, there are things like the Treehouse Adventure Park uh, to visit. So. Uh, you know, it offers, we offer quite a bit up here, a lot of different activities and a lot of good food. Folks, we have a friend at Staunton State Park with us, Sharon. Maybe talk a little bit about Staunton and what kind of views are available in our local state park. The best thing about Staunton is that it's at a little bit lower elevation than Kenosha and Guanella. So if you really want to hit, say, both, you can. Or if you can't make it up this weekend when it's probably going to be peak, up at Gwinnella and Kenosha, because I've already seen pictures of friends who've gone to Abyss Trail off of Gwinnella, and it's gorgeous. Um, then you can go on down to Staunton and hit that a weekend or two later. And there's tons of trails from easy to moderate to difficult, or you can mountain bike it or horseback ride it too. So it gives you a few options for different ways to enjoy the park. And also that little extra time if you need it to get there. One favorite place for hikers to go after that is uh, the snowpack tap room. And sure. that um, offers a variety of local beers on tap. And they even have a beach area there for families to hang out at. And um, they have really good food, too. I forgot to mention one and of my music. also favorite places is Rustic Station, because that you can sit outside on their deck and enjoy the view of the road or people walking by. Back to Aspen Peak Cellar, Marcel uh, gives you his regards. He couldn't be with us this evening, but a shout out to him and what he's provided in terms of a wonderful venue too for those that are wine enthusiasts. And I personally like the 285 Fusion. 
Well, I'll tell you, it's pretty amazing that we have a multi-award winning winery in the small little town of Bailey. They've won awards from the state and nationally and internationally in some of the competitions that they've gone into. So it's certainly worth a worth a stop to have a glass of wine and some of their great food. And if you like ice cream, um, the Naughty Pine has some tasty swirls there. I like to get myself a coffee mocha shake there. <laughs> <laughs> They, yeah, they have marvelous ice cream treats there. I've got yeah, with Bailey, Colorado on it. It's great fun. I send all those things to Europe to family there. They all have coon skin caps. <laughs> yes, that's they important. Do. We have coon skin caps. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything that our local area businesses are, besides uh, the comments about Aspen Peak Cellars, anything that people are specifically featuring? during this Gold Rush Leaf Keeping campaign? Well, River Canyon Gallery is offering uh, an assortment of beverages, including hot cider, tea, coffee, water, and uh, homemade cookies. And I have to say that the bakers who are members of the gallery are some of the best in the area. Uh, you will not be disappointed. So no purchase necessary. In addition to serving refreshments to anyone who comes into the gallery, uh, for those people who have purchased an item of uh, equals $20 or more, uh, they will be automatically entered in a, in a drawing for a original frame photograph by our gallery photographer, artist, Roger Schaefer. So it's a good deal. Come on in. Well, and right down from you at Mad Jack's Mountain Brewery, besides the great music that they have, and we have the schedule up on 285 Tourism. They have Oktoberfest on the 25th and 26th of September. And they'll have specials going on, especially on the 25th. I think they might even do uh, some German music. They've done that in the past. Well, that's great. Time to break out the later hosen. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> get out the later hosen. <laughs> and we get to hear the music at the gallery from Mad Jack. <laughs> yes. You know, uh, at the Smiling Pig, we will, uh, for anybody that mentions they're up for Gold Rush, we'll, we're happy to extend a 20% discount for the next few weekends while the leaf peaking is going on. And on the conifer side, I know our conifer residents are, are generally out in full fare. I know that Abregata offers some special things during the fall season. And the local area restaurants on the conifer side also are all decked out for Oktoberfest. So there's a lot of choices when you come up here. Well, and we have Daddy's that's syrup that's offering 10% off at various locations throughout the corridor. So some great homemade syrup if you like that. You're right, Bill, and we want to give a shout out to Amber Burr, who couldn't be with us this evening. She was hoping to be there, so Daddy's Homemade Syrups is a local area staple, and you can hear Amber's voice every morning at 10 o'clock with the local area events report. So some of the uh, comments that we're having this evening will be re recast uh, during her event. And if you want to find out any special events that are going on, please be sure to check out our community calendar on MyMountainTown.com. I know Ridge Fest is also happening at Aspen Ridge Church this weekend. And there's several other events around the area in addition to those special sales and deals that are going on. So make sure you check all those out and see what's going on with the traffic before you head up and all of our webcams on our webcam pages. Great point, Sharon. Great point. And uh, Conifer Radio's total event listing is also on my mountain town. So it's a great place to check out things to do before you head up. Well, and I think, you know, the one thing people should realize is that sometimes to take a half an hour break and uh, enjoy a drink or enjoy visiting one of the shops or one of the events. Some of the music can really break up your day rather than just sitting in traffic. You could have breakfast in Conifer, you could have lunch in Bailey, and then there's great beer spots in the afternoon. So we round out with dinner at the several uh, area locations. You could have breakfast, lunch, dinner, and at my always favorite, beer in the afternoon. <laughs> and do a little shopping in between because you know the holidays are coming up soon yeah besides uh luna's mandela's which i love uh, on the back side of that is look what i found 
And that place is awesome too. It's surprisingly affordable too. Not just women's clothes, but some cool gifts and accessories to go with it. And another shout out to our Platte Canyon Community Partnership Resale Boutique. Donna Peters and all of her volunteers, they have some amazing things. They've really expanded their location. They're tucked in right with the bees, honey, and that makes a great venue too. Right after you've uh, visited the River Canyon, just wander across the street. You know, there are some real finds at the resale shop. I just recently bought a really beautiful oak table there for a very reasonable price. So definitely a place worth uh, checking out. And don't forget to cross the highway and go over to Fun and Funky Art Gallery and Gifts or down by the Coney Island where they've got their other location because they have so much stuff. Andy has an eclectic selection, doesn't he? He does. (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) <laughs> oh, and tucked in behind Rustic Station is the Chill Squirrel, which if you have not gone in and met the owners there and checked out what they have, definitely do yourself a favor and stop in. They have my favorite soaps by Emily's Homestead, which is in Bailey. Native Vibrations Rock Shop right next to that. Yeah, I love that. You can always find a stone. I think we mentioned earlier that Glenn and Chris Ellis have some really, really neat items in their shop. The Flat River Outfitters. Thank you, Tim. Flat River Outfitters, yes. Just remember (laughs) Pro. Oh, Piero. It's good to mention, Mark, that if anybody forgot something for their trekking, Platte River Outfitters is the place to go. They have great supplies for hiking and backpacking. And since we have two colleagues from the Chimney Doctors, anything special from our favorite chimney sweeps? Well, if anybody's coming to the mountains to to, uh, stay overnight, I can do a discount on outdoor gas fireplaces, items such as that. You know, come in and talk to us. You know, on to mention, you know, we've mentioned all the great food that and the diversity of the food and the music up here. One thing I really wanted to mention to the listeners today is as you go into these businesses, meet the people. That is truly one of the gems of the mountain community up here is these store owners and these proprietors. They're great people. They want to get to know you. A lot of times they'll give you offers you didn't even know were coming. And then a little bit of housekeeping I wanted to throw in there from the chamber is, uh, you know, tell the listeners that that to anticipate tra- traffic could be heavy. Just be patient. Take your time. Like you said, get out, visit or stay overnight at one of our great places. And when you're in the woods, just be courteous to the woods, no fires, pick up your trash or your pet litter. Just from the Plaque Canyon Area Chamber of Commerce, thank you for coming up and enjoying this year's 285 Gold Rush. Here, here. Yeah. And, yes. And Bill, if you could close us out about 285 Tourism's Facebook page. maybe help Absolutely. You so we're going to try and continue to update with new deals and things going on in the area. It's very easy to find. It's just uh, facebook.com forward slash 285 tourism. Well, on behalf of Connor for Radio, we appreciate everybody's being with us today. Bill Bruner, Ann Valenti, Alan Compa, Sharon Trill, Tim Gregg, Matt Dambrowski, Vivian Rosso, and also a shout out to Amber Burr of Daddy's Homemade who couldn't be here, and also Marcel at Aspen Peak Sellers. Thank you very kindly. Wish you all a safe and prosperous trip up to see Gold Rush, our leaf peeping campaign. Thanks, folks. Thanks, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Ann. Thank you, everyone. Our pleasure. My pleasure.